In Oswald Twistle, we moored up near Bridge 110, which is Aspen Bridge, and here we enjoyed excellent solar power and a strong Wi-Fi signal. Oswald Twistle, often pronounced Ozzel Twizzle, is closely connected to Accrington and Church and is three miles southeast of Blackburn. Walking into town was easy from Bridge 110 down Aspen Lane. On our way, we met these guys at the Hayes Allotments. <laughs> Is there anyone else here? No, ain't nobody else here but us chickens. <laughs> so you can come here, there's three cafes in this garden centre, Oswald Twistle Mills. Inside you'll discover a diverse array of shops and boutiques offering clothing, home decor, crafts, toys, gifts and more. And they also boast several cafes and restaurants where you can savour a delicious meal or just a cup of coffee. So we've got ubiquitous tea for two. Oswald Twistle Mills features a garden center with plants, gardening supplies, and outdoor decor. Throughout the year, the complex hosts a variety of events and activities from craft fairs and art exhibitions to seasonal festivals and live entertainment. Oswald Twistle Mills is a 25-minute walk from Bridge 110. Carol says the apple is very nice. It's very apple-y. And what do you think of this place? It's big, isn't it? Huge. So, I gotta come back. I yeah. Gotta come back. Don't know when. Yeah. Well, we gotta do it. Ne next time we cruise up to Skipton, maybe. On Friday, our aim was to travel through Burnley and find a quiet location to moor. Trouble seven three four eight seven oh two three. Victoria Mill was once a Throssell cotton mill during the Industrial Revolution prior to being restored to become a part of the University of Central Lancashire campus. Burnley Council has bought some of the buildings which are being restored for the expansion of the university campus.
that's the other side of Victoria Mill which has got some very modern additions to it looks like a hall of residence for the university I think, I think this is probably all owned by the university commenting on the number of chimneys that you can see and what it would have been like back when it was really industrialized. Weaver's Triangle in Burnley is a historic district filled with the 19th century industrial structures located to the west of the town centre and adjacent to the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. These buildings, primarily cotton mills, vividly depict the town's weaving history. Canal Toll House circa 1800. In this section of the canal, the water was marred by the presence of carpet weed, plastics, and litter. It was disheartening to witness, especially considering the impact on the moorhens and their chicks. We had to stop about every 20 minutes to clear our propeller, a frustrating experience as it was the first time we had had to repeatedly hold our journey to clear the weed hatch. Despite these challenges, nature has a way of adapting, and these moorhens have learned to navigate their environment even occasionally finding ways to turn the debris to their advantage. Give us a wave! Carol's just tidying up the flowers on the roof before we, before we go through Fall Ridge Tunnel. I can't go through it yet because we've got the red lights on at the moment. So the tunnel is 0.93 miles long, so it's a pretty long tunnel. It takes it takes uh, probably about 20 to 30 minutes to get through it, depending on your speed. It says on the signs. I can't see the signs. How old is it? 227 years. So they built good back then. Well, it's still standing. 
Fowl Ridge Tunnel gained notoriety in 1912 when an unexpected incident occurred. A cow fell into the canal near the tunnel's entrance and surprisingly embarked on a determined swim through the tunnel. The brave yet exhausted bovine was eventually revived with a dose of alcohol at the Fowl Ridge End. It's said the once popular hole-in-the-wall pub provided the rum. <coughs> when venturing through this tunnel, be sure to wear a raincoat, as it's known for its persistent drips. Once through the tunnel, we moored at the CRT visitor moorings and was hoping to get a warm meal at the Wharf Pub and Restaurant. Unfortunately, their cook was away, but we did manage to get a cool refreshment. The Anchor Inn is a historic canal-side pub that serves real ales and pub food. Unfortunately, they too were not serving food the day we arrived. The Anchor Inn is beside a CRT water point and there are bins to dispose of rubbish. This interesting structure is known as the castle, but in reality, it's actually part of an old railway bridge. We moored up just across from Lower Park Marina, and it was nothing short of picturesque. The area boasted charming stone walls and a bridleway track frequented by locals strolling with their beloved pets. At the hill's peak, we were treated to breathtaking vistas, especially during the splendid sunsets, and nearby there was a serene symmetry and countless trails perfect for long, peaceful walks. One of the unique features of this area was a farm along the Bridal Way, home to some peculiar looking sheep that I decided to call pig sheep due to their facial resemblance to pigs. What do you think? Tilly made friends and happily shared her treats, even making a new senior buddy named Pickle. And if you ever happen to pass by, don't forget to say hello to him. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and click the bell to be notified when we put up new content. See you soon.